Hi you lovely lot, on this one we are getting into the moving bed filter biological media. Which one I've chosen and why? Let's get into it. So I'm going to spin you around, I'm going to show you, view it. What I have done, as you can see, I've done a nitrite test. I've just put that on, that takes five minutes to uh, mature if you want to call it that. Here's the moving bed. It's been running now, it's now Saturday morning and I did this, this went up, I completed it, I think I got it turning over by the end of uh, Sunday because this tank here actually had holes in it so I sealed them up, I got some HA6 black and sealed them up so I had to let it cure um, and then the biomedia which I'm going to get to in a minute um, that actually arrived in the middle of that week I didn't soak it in PP I thought I'm going to do it the natural way I have been in contact with Awazi Technical and they've given me some uh, feedback and this moving bed just typically tees off my palm return comes up on a valve comes up comes in comes in the bottom there is a strainer on the end of the pipe and that's it that's the flow in flow out there's a T with one strainer pointing down one strainer pointing across and then it comes back down by gravity and just plops into the pond jobs are good and I balance the valve off there so I've reduced the flow um, this is running at about 5,000 litres per hour so it's only running at 24 watts and uh, that seems we've got the balance between I've got enough movement in the pond as you can see there look that's from the pond return at the bottom or coming out the side of the pond and not too you know and then water flowing through the actual filter media now what um, I was going to say the name then of the filter media I did this in the week and this here on I think the first day I put the media in this I can confirm it surprised me actually I was here in the purple I was in the purple and when I put the media in it is a plastic media until I get wait till I get to it but it is a plastic media and it just floated on top in here I've got a round six inch air stone in the bottom of this tank so obviously the air bubbles came up they just hit an hole in the top like it was snow so I had a hole of water and then all the media was floating around the edge now plastic media as you know guys if you used it it can take time to get some biofilm on it such and so forth get some uh, weight to it also and get moving so I came, the, the media has been in for a few days now and I'm going to have a look in the top in a minute to see what's going off. I have already had a look and it was surprising me actually. And on a positive note, from what I last seen it to a bed of snow to three days later to get into this, I'm impressed. So what I've done, like I say, done a reading of the nitrite to see where that is because I'm hoping that with this media in there, this is going to do my pond over summer because it was quite clear to me that before that moving bed was there even at this time of year feeding it two times a day with Saki at 13 degrees I got nitrite in the purple got a nitrite spike um, and that is apparently with um, plastic media indicative apparently takes a bit of time to get going and get mature but um, so yeah what I'm going to do as well the K1 in there the K1 micro in the easy pod I think they come with is it 18 liters but I thought well I've never measured it I bought this second hand and I've never got a jug and measured it so I'm actually going to be boring and probably do another video and measure that out see if I can actually gain any more media in there well, I don't know. I um, have upped the, that back up because 
with this moving, moving bed, if I turn the water off, this tank will obviously empty. This tank holds more than 200 litres, guys. That is a lot. Of, that is a lot more water that I've introduced into this pond, and a lot more surface area, especially with the media inside. So I'm well happy with that. And that's it. Looking into it, it's not taking up floor space like I was planning down there. It's simple. And so let's. So that's had a few minutes now, so that's probably on 0.25 at the moment, look. So, the media of choice is... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Awazi Biopads, Biomedium. Now, I was going to get Helix 13, and I was looking at um, also the Evo K1. But I seen some comments and I was swaying towards the Awazi products in Helix 13. So I was going to get that, but then I saw this. I was in the end, I was toying between the bio pads and the Helix 13. Now, for a comparison straight away, this bag here is 10 litres. And this bag. of 10 litres can decompose approximately 215 gram of fish food in 24 hours apparently and obviously it removes ammonia, ammonium, NH4, NH3 and nitrite, NO2 nitrification so the surface area, the settlement of microorganisms is approximately 5,500 metres square that is an incredible amount for 10 litres. For only 10 litres. So think of that footprint. Now the equivalent, which was about the same price, was I think 25 litres. So two and a half times more, one and a half times more of um, whether it's the Awazi Elex 13 or the equivalent K1, you're going to be needing 25 litres more of area and to get an equivalent, and I think it was less actually, I think 25 litres gives 170 grams a day of K1. I could be wrong, but I know it's either similar or slightly lower. So that's why I went for this. Now, what the actual head trick with this is for the same amount of money, you actually are getting far less in volume, but it gives you far more in bacteria volume, if that makes sense. If you can get your head around that, physically, you're getting less for £55, these cost me. I, mean, I didn't give them anything like that, it cost me £55, so physically you're getting less. I could have a bigger bag and feel like I've got more for the same price, but actually this on the surface gives you a hell of a lot more surface area for a smaller footprint. So this tank, which was made to get in shoving loads of K1 originally, actually, I'm hoping I'm not going to need it. But I, I am, because I can add all sorts to this. I could add... I was thinking of floating, uh, having, a, having a section it off a little bit and having some plants in it maybe, coming out of the top or I could hang in other medias. Um, I thought about biochar, charcoal, um, this stuff. I've got something here, I can't remember what it's called now. Like a little rock. So yeah, but I could also add more bio. But I shouldn't need it because if I'm feeding any more than 215 grams a bloody day on that, I'm not going to be able to keep up and feed them Sakiakari Balance or Sakiakari Growth for 190 quid a sack. No way! You know, just 200 grams of food going in a day. <laughs> ah, that's made me go hysterical. Oh, God, grab it, um, about one and a half kilos a week. 
fishing now. Oh, anyway, that's on another note. But if your fish are growing well and they need it, you're gonna have to give it them, aren't you? But anyway, you ain't got to give it them because you don't need all that food. And I won't because I won't be able to afford it. So, a good time to check this. Let's say, oh, that's a difficult one. It's hard to tell. But um, I think we are at point, ooh, point 0.25. We're 0 0.25, we're not quite at five at point 0.5 here. So let's see how this in four to six weeks, when I was, say that it takes neutral floating behavior after approximately six to eight weeks running time, depending on water temperature and load. So let's see. Now we've looked at the nitrite, so we know what's going off there. The pond temperature is 13.3. We've got a Warzy Biopads Bio Medium, which are apparently top notch. So let's conclude by looking in the bio bed filter itself. This surprised me when I looked in here this morning. Honestly, two days ago when I looked in here, it was just a dead bed of these on the top. Look at them already after two days. I'm just. I'm buzzing. Look at that. I was thinking that this bed would just be like too big. Yeah, there's some accumulating here. But hope I mean this is only three, four days. This is only Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's three days in. Look at that tumble. Mr. Tumble! absolutely buzzing now what information awazi did give me is for this size bed for this amount of media they recommended about i think it was oh was it 30 or 40 i think it might have been 40 liters per minute of bubbles going in so in a nutshell if you're feeding that only 40 liters per minute maximum is all you need is all you need they didn't go into flow rate all they stipulated was with that size tank of about 200 and i think there's about 240 liters in there it's quite big that is so with 200 liters 40 liters per minute no more they said they do not want boiling with this media what is important is you are not bashing it all over the place okay they said a nice gentle tumble. You want to achieve a nice gentle tumble. And I think at the moment, let me zoom out. Let's zoom in. Bloody heavy Jesus. Right, is it? I think I'm achieving a light tumble there. And I've just got enough air so, um, going into this one as well. And I've turned the air off to that inside there because this goes into that. So I'm still getting, I'm getting more air going in, I would say, because this is more effective by the looks of it. I would say <laughs> almost on my first go, I've achieved a nice tumble. Like I say, I want to pass it on again and conclude this video. A was it technical when I spoke to this guy, his name was Will. He just says you want it just to tumble. You don't want to be bashing this media up. I mean, even in this corner, look, it's coming up, it's going down. I'm getting a bit there, but hopefully that will get better. But I'm not worried about that. I've got a stick that I can just stir it with, but I mean, yeah, as you can tell with me, with me excitement in my voice, I'm buzzing. Because obviously what this has done already, that media has, it's got like, um, even though it's like obviously a plastic, it feels quite porousy, quite, if you look at it, 
There's loads and loads and loads and loads of, see it? There's minute holes everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. See them? See my finger through there, look. Really light. It doesn't feel like plastic. You can bend it. You can fold it. But it's not, it's almost, a, it's like a plastic, but like foamy plastic, solid. They're getting some accumulation there, look. But look at that. I could maybe turn this down, I don't know, but I'm not going to because that's, I'm happy at that to get it going. And to conclude, I have got to give this a kick, I have ordered, and I've used this product before, and I was impressed. For 19.99, again, it doesn't seem like you're getting a lot, because you're not getting a massive bottle, but what it does on the tin is give you a lot for a little amount. But I'll probably show you that on the next one. This is a bio filter kicker. So, like when you pour in bacteria balls, it's the equivalent to that. But I will do that on the next one and keep you just suspended. Suspended? Is that the right word? Suspended? Brain's gone. I don't even know. But anyway, suspended. Suspended. <laughs> I can't even think of it. If that's the wrong word, I can't even think of a word. Guessing. Anyway, that's what's going off in the Koi house. Everything's going great. With the addition of this moving bed and the Awazi bio pads, I've got high expectations. So, Awazi better deliver. And I'm quietly confident that they will. Oh, I didn't get on to. Yeah, with the uh, quick one. Because obviously when this empties, I've not got a non-return valve on this pipe. So what happens is, if the pump fails, or when I, turn, when I turn off with the pump, I turn everything off, I can isolate the valve, so it won't go back into the pond. So this tank won't empty, because I can isolate it. But I, if the other power cut, I'm not, here, I'm not here to turn that valve off, this will empty. So all this water will go into here. And I've tried it, and I, I could lower the pond volume, remove, you know, decrease the pond volume to account for this additional. So if this empties in, it can't overflow. But when I tried it on that day, it got higher than the level over there. But at the minute, looking at the actual water level, I don't think it would, because you can see my natural line look, the green line, that's about an inch below. So this now, that now is probably going to have to be my natural pond water level to account if my water, not my water, if my pump electricity or pump fails and that empties, that pond can take it. But anyway, I hook that back up because if it does, this can now overflow. And that's probably why that's at that um, level there. So um, I will test that and I'll have a look and I'll probably do that on another video. But, um, shall I do it now? Let's demonstrate now. No, it's not, because I'm going to make a mess of my filter. All the crap will come up and overflow and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that will actually take that now. But I could actually buy um, a non-return valve. You can get them Mac Alpine um, waste ones. They're about £15. And it's for actual waste pipe in bathrooms and stuff like that um, for household domestic use. I don't know whether that would be enough to stop the water back flowing. I'm quietly confident it will certainly reduce that because it's. I don't think they're used to. They should take a, a, quite a bit of back pressure, but I don't know how much back pressure. So it might trickle through a bit. But if it does, it's not going to completely empty into there. So I'm tempted to buy one of them, but that's for the future. Oh, and 
the tank were free i had that in away in the garden i've used it to hold koi before when i'm doing salt baths and stuff but as you all know guys fittings and stuff once you start buying this stuff oh my god does it start mine top don't it so i bought three tank connectors um they were from a um an aquatics place i think i spent about 30 quid in there for the cockney koi jobby some of them three of them three tank connectors um what else did i buy oh a valve i bought a valve which i'm not used so i can't really um count that in with the build i bought one of these i bought three of those so i've not used them so take off that then i probably spent 20 i got the pipe from screw fix i got a bag of elbows um three t's so i spent about 27 pound in there so i'd probably say with the media i've spent just over 100 quid over 100 pound maybe a bit more but i'd got the tank for free so for 100 quid I think I've got something pretty decent there. I've not put a bypass on at the moment. I was thinking of that valve. I was going to put cut that on the flow up, put a T on, and then have it go into waste with a valve here. So I could turn that off, turn that valve off so the tank is isolated, and then open the valve and drain the tank to waste, so purge it. So it'd suck and draw out any anything at the bottom of this tank. Obviously I can empty it and drain it into the pond. But if I want to get rid of any muck. But I'm hoping there's not going to be a lot of muck accumulating. And if it does, I'm probably going to have to, like the easy pod at the bottom of the inner of that one, just resort to doing it once or twice a year. Just get a just get me trug. Get the bio, scoop the bio pads out, just get me over in there. Jobs are good, and but I'm going to see how that one goes. I want to see how the how much muck is getting through the pod as well. But that's water that normally going back into the pond, so I, I can't see an issue at the minute, and I can't see a purpose to have a drain on that. But I might add it. I've got the stuff anyway. So, what do you reckon, guys? How do you think these are going to perform? Are they going to do what they say on the bag? See you on the next one, where I look at the, I'm not going to say it, I nearly said it then, where I look at the filter bugs I'm going to put in here, and what the spec of those are, and how effective they are, because I think they are effective. I used it when I first got my 10k pond and built it, this is a product I used when I was having ammonia problems and nitrite and stuff, and they really did do the trick. Probably better actually than anything I've ever used before, but I've never used them before now. I have thanks for watching please like if you've liked the video please thumb down if you think it's a bag of shit please subscribe if you haven't already and if you have thanks for the support i'll see you on the next one